Now, this is the problem that I don't understand with these two niggas. I didn't speak on the whole beef between Young Thug and Metro Boomin, whatever the case may be. It's obviously these two niggas know each other before music and whatever riff they got into, who cares about that? But this song proved that these two niggas make magic together. Metro Boomin, Young Thug with Hercules. From the beginning of the record, it's just crazy. You know, I mean, sidebar real quick. Young Thug does sound a lot like Chief Keef in his record. I don't know what's up with that shit, but he does sound like Chief Keef. But it just goes to show you that when people have chemistry, why ruin that? I mean, that doesn't come along in hip-hop that often. You know what I mean? If you look back on the greats, you know what I mean, starting from the era of the 80s, the 90s, the early 2000s, you don't always get a producer and an artist to have that chemistry together. To me, what it kind of seemed like, you know, a producer can work with whoever he wants to exclusively, you know what I mean, unless he's signed to an artist label and that's his main producer. But it just seemed like maybe Metro Boom and a Young Thug ran his course but then again future was you know hooked with dj esco metro booming you know but then again so was young thug but then young thug really started going off with london you know london on the track so i really don't understand the problem but all i'm saying far as the music shit these two niggas can get in the studio and make magic you know, all that Twitter shit back and forth, who makes the better songs. And no, my nigga, Young Thug is not no fucking Michael and Future ain't no Tito. Let's reverse that shit because Michael Jackson had hits and nobody remembers Tito. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you just got to look at it like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, shit, hey, niggas do shit for publicity. All these niggas know each other. If you know anybody that live in the ATL, I got a brother that live out there. These niggas be around each other all the fucking time. They're only celebrities to us. In their own city, they know each other, period. You know what I mean? So at the same time, it's just like the thing can't be fooled by that. But when you got music like this, it's just like, God damn, like, nigga, you hear this song? This shit is a banger. And I don't care what nobody say. Like, you know, I'm not an avid Young Thug fan, but I'm a, sometime a listen to what he has. The best project he put out to me this year was the Barter Six. Hate it or love it, it's the truth. You know, you damn near can put that that CD on, that mixtape, whatever you want to call it, album, and play it all the way through. Slime Flu 1 was whatever, you know, it was cool. Slime Flu 2, cool, whatever. But it's just the sad part when we didn't get Metro Thug in it. Because of this shit, you know, niggas got to learn to separate business from bullshit. Business-wise, these niggas should get in the studio. Even if you don't want to be in the studio together. Metro do the, the beats. Send them to the Young Thug. Young Thug do the vocals. Send them back. They get somebody to mix it. You know, master that shit. Put the shit out to the public. There you go. If you got to do it like that. But always handle business. Because it just takes fans. And it, it makes you pick sides. Well, whose side are you on? Metro Boomin side or you on uh, Young Thug side? Or fuck Young Thug. It's about future now. It shouldn't be none of that. These two niggas make great music together. You know, I noticed that shit, you know, from the first time I actually heard these two on the um, record, you know, and it's just like, I hope it's not a situation to where Metro Boomin feel like, okay, Future's the hottest artist now, Young Thug, you know, his music, or as far as his, I guess, mass appeal to the public is kind of fading away, so he's leaning more towards Future, and I don't think that's a good thing, because I think that, yeah, Future has resurfaced again and has a buzz out of this world but everybody has that thing in hip-hop to where you on top of the pyramid and slowly but for surely you'll be back down that same you know pyramid or success ladder whatever you want to call it but hopefully these two niggas can work it out we still can get metro thugging even if it's not this year maybe it could be next year because you look at the migos and young thug take that came out went and gone nobody gave a fuck you see what I'm saying? And I think that if it was Metro and Thug that put that tape out together, that shit would have been, you know, talked about the same way that a Drake and, you know, Future Tape or a DJ Esco and Future, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this was a good record. I fuck with it. 
you know, I listen to this shit like five, six times because it's just the beat and the way he kind of has a cadence on certain records with certain producers, you know, between London on the track and Metro Boom and Young Thug, when he want to be like on some serious shit, he really can make a song and it can really be a jam and a hit. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I just want to get my take on it. I think the song is a smash, but what do I know? I'm just a person that loves music. One.